Welcome back to Therapy Thursdays here on Louisiana Living. I'm Dr. Jerry Yarbrough, owner of Physical Therapy and Balance Centers of Ruston, Jonesboro, and now El Dorado, Arkansas. And we've been talking about nutrition and how it affects um, your overall well-being. And today, specifically, we're going to be talking about nutrition and osteoporosis. Uh, we have a special guest with us again this week. This is Ashley Peters. She is a senior student at Louisiana Tech in the Nutrition and Dietetics Department. So, Ashley, uh, tell us some stuff about osteoporosis. Thank you, Dr. Jerry, for yeah, having me here yeah, today. Yeah. So, osteoporosis, that's a big one, and we're starting to see more and more people have osteoporosis. So. What we recommend or what the Dietary Guidelines of America has told us is that um, our calcium intake is very low as a general population. And when we talk about bone health, calcium always gets brought up. And then when you talk about calcium, you also have to include vitamin D. They're kind of like brother and sister. They go together. Um, vitamin D plays a pivotal role in the absorption of calcium. And some people are wondering, so how do we get calcium in our diets? And that's what I'm here to talk to you about today. So calcium, there's a lot of sources that have calcium and one of the main ones is our dairy products. We actually get a large absorption rate from our dairy products. Now when I talk about dairy, I'm talking about our low fat milks, our cheeses, our yogurts, those types of dairy products. And for those that are lactose intolerant, now our food supply are actually fortifying some of our foods with calcium and vitamin D together. So if you look at your grocery store and you go to pull the orange juice off of the shelf, right. you can now right. see that it is fortified with calcium and with vitamin D. And that's because as Americans, we just do not intake any dairy products these days. We, about 50 years ago, we were drinking milk with every single meal that we intook. And it's important that we get three servings of dairy a day. But now we have kind of steered clear of that for some reason. And so now our food supply is having to put it into our bread cereals, mm -hmm. into our snack bars, mm -hmm. into our juices, especially for little kids. We know that they really enjoy those juices in our snack bars. Yeah. So we have started to fortify our foods for that. So it's really important that we steer more towards taking in that low fat dairy, our low fat yogurts to get optimum calcium and vitamin D absorption for bone health. That's great. So uh, osteoporosis, again, is weakening of the bones. And like you were saying, calcium and vitamin D are very essential uh, to intake those to help with that bone strength. So, all right, guys, come back in the next segment, and, and Ashley's going to give you some uh, good takeaways uh, so that you can start implementing and increasing your calcium and vitamin D intake today.